Welcome to our continuing series of Fixing Your Mistakes. Alright, so on this episode I'm going to show you something that I've run into. If you've ever put down uh, laminate or tongue and groove flooring, you might have run into this, the, uh, the engineered stuff. Not the really good stuff like that you nail down, the, the floating floor stuff. So if you've ever run into this, I'm going to hopefully show you how you can fix it because it drives me bonkers. I've put down half a dozen or more floors and I've never had this happen. Could be the product. Could be I was having an off day. Who knows? Either way, I'm going to show you what I'm fixing. This little son bitch right here is what I'm fixing. These boards, as you can see, have separated. That's not what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to hook with the tongue and the groove and stay together. Look at that. That's a tight joint right there. There's another tight joint. Well, actually that one's a little loose. But that is awful. And look at that, there's crumbs in there. Gross. So how do you fix this? Well, let me tell you, it's a, a beer job based off of how many you have. For me, it's this long hallway is really the only place. There's a couple over in the kitchen that I'm gonna try and fix as well. But I'm hoping, starting in the hallway, I think that's part of the problem is it's such a long run that uh, they've separated over time. Because it is a floating floor, it's not anchored at either end. I think it happens. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to fix this and uh, hopefully it works if you have gaps opening too. So what you need to do is you need to go down to one end and uh, get yourself some sort of piece of wood, two by four, scrap piece, whatever, something about a foot long because you're gonna be hitting on it with a hammer, and then some double-sided tape. Now this is uh, carpet tape. So basically you put this on the underside of like an area rug and it won't slip and slide. Um, but it doesn't leave a residue on the floor, which is exactly what you want. So you put that on, you got it on there, and uh, then you stick it down onto the floor and you hit it with a hammer. Everything can be fixed or at least made slightly better by just hitting it with a hammer. All right, so I've got this on the floor. I'm going to put my foot on it as well for a little extra stability. Let's see how long the hallway is right there view between my legs <laughs> and then all you do is you just give her a little tip tap take it a roo it's very important you don't miss and hit the floor or hit your toesies very important so this is that same gap after bashing on it for a little bit you'll see it's significantly closer I gotta actually go a little bit more you also notice I originally tried when I noticed it splitting first Tried to throw a few brad nails in there. That didn't work. Didn't hold it enough for a high traffic zone. So I'm gonna hit on this a few more times and uh, close that one up. And then I got a few more to close up as well. So there we go. We've tightened up a whole bunch of these joints. That one could use a little bit more, but I've tightened up the majority of these. It's hard to tell too with this type of flooring because it's dark around the edges, but these are all nice and tight. So that does it. Quick and easy fix. If you've got your boards separating, just get some double-sided tape, hammer, 2x4, and start bashing on it. Now for me, mine ends in a closet, so the boards I've been bashing on have pulled away from that very last board. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the closet and I'll use a small pry bar, pry the last board towards the, uh, the first full-length board essentially. Because I don't care if there's a gap at the very end, it's a closet. Good as crap. <laughs> so if you terminate on a wall, you might have more trouble. You might have to go a little from both sides so that your flooring stays under your trim. But every situation is a little different. Different strokes for different folks. So there you go. For me, wouldn't even have finished the neck of a beer on this job. It's that simple. So hopefully you enjoyed this tip and uh, you can use it yourself if you have some floors that are stripping apart. So we nailed it. <laughs>